Would you make a deal if I bought all these phones here? I think they're 20, 15, 15, 15. Yeah. Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. How much on your games here? Uh, it's a dollar. Dollar piece? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Awesome. Change. I don't have enough ones, so. though. There you go. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you so you. much. What's up, buddy? Hey, how's it going? Good, good. It's okay if I lay some stuff down. Sure. Did you guys already sell those telephones that were in the picture? Those uh, Panasonic phones? Panasonic tel uh, telephones that were in the picture? I think that ground feels down there. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> and they sleep in. They're not open yet. Gotcha. Oh, they are open? Okay. All right, what we got? 10 and then 50. There you go. Thank you. Uh -huh. Don't worry about the quarters. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stupid sign caught me off guard down there. What's that? Stupid sign caught me off guard down there. <laughs> yeah. I just put it I, in the GPS and I stopped too soon when I saw the sign. Yeah. 
I've never seen this before. I've never seen I've been doing this for a while. I don't think I've seen a long drive either. I figure everyone's coming for those. Yeah, who knows? I know they're good. I don't want to ship them and I don't want to store them till oh, man, October. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're asking 300 for the big mold book. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's actually. It's not bad. No, it's not terrible, but. If yeah. they're not going to fly off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's okay if I lay some stuff down somewhere. You betcha. So go right here. Right on. Would you make a deal if I bought all these phones here? I think they're 20, 15, 15, 15. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be like 15 and then like 10 a piece on this. This is this is fun. Wait, 10, 20, 30. How about 50 for all? 50, okay. And I'm gonna keep looking, okay? Just make that a new. Are they all good to air? So, so it's 55. 55 so far, yep, thank you. Do you want me putting that stuff up? Um, sure. I'm going to grab those. <laughs> um, how much on the box of cassettes? I didn't Let see it. Let me ask my brother. Oh, okay. wait. Oh, oh, okay, dollars. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. Um, it was in this box that says a dollar each. Oh, well, thank you. Huh? Okay, then. Another dollar. Oh, alright. That should do it for me. I can get that off. Hey. 67. 67. Yep. Cool. Do you have enough change yet? Yes, just one all right. second. It's all right here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We brought out more. More stuff. <laughs> you guys had a crowd waiting for you. I tell you. Well, here comes the school bus. <laughs> Don't let off 
those kids here. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. 68, 69, 70. Oh, how much you got on that little guy? That was a dollar. Dollar. Take it. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Here, I'll put it in the bag. All right, good luck to y'all. Thank, Thank you. you very Where much. are you parked? Um, across the street. Oh, I think well, I'm okay. I'll, help you. Okay. I'll let you get that. Yeah, that's, that's heavy. heavy. I'll carry you awesome. Thank you. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are welcome. I'll just All right. Them down good luck with everything. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank Thanks you. They go to that uh, estate sale thing over on 600. Which one? Where is that now? Uh, it's over on 600. No, I haven't been. Is that, did you it starts at 9. Oh, okay. No, I haven't been. Yeah, I paid the money. I just gave him back a buck. Hey, Clark. Hey, Clark. Hey, Clark. Probably set your stuff down if I did this. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess another five. Right, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I need to go off the Oh, yeah. So, where did you say that was? 600? I'll just show you the address real quick. Yeah. Okay. Thank Starts you, at sir. nine. Okay. Huh? Oh, there's another garage sale. There's an estate sale that's apparently going. On. There's actually several other garage sales. Two more down. Where's the estate sale, buddy? Uh, 600 West, South 600 West. It's down. Just right on there. Mount Comfort. Mount Comfort Road. Yeah, it's just down this way. About a mile from 40. Yeah, then you go down that way. I didn't see okay. any signs though. But, uh, there's there's one um, on no. five times road. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. There's the one that estate sale. Yeah. Uh, no, that's a different garage sale. Well, this is, there's a garage sale for these papers. It's down on uh, six times. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, man. Now i got to read all these. I'll see you later. All right, buddy. Take care. Yeah, you too. What should you have on this little controller here? Dollar. Dollar. Deal. All right. <laughs> How much are you asking on the hats? The hats are ten cents a piece. Okay. I've got Price to move. four boxes of hats. <laughs> I'll put these over here and then look through them a little bit better. this last box. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll do it. Are you sure this one says five too? Oh. Oh, sorry. I thought that was a clue. <laughs> so that's um Probably like fifteen nine, or so. Nine, four, 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 fourteen. Fourteen. Let's do fourteen and that'll work, thank you. Nine, 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 nine. Do you happen to have change? Oh yeah. Twenty, right? I gave you two tens, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. I can probably carry that Jeep. Thank you so much. Okay, Have a great day. Hi. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Hi. I'm going to keep looking, but is there like a list to go inside? Uh, there, he's just taking two at a time. They're going in next. Okay. Uh, because if anybody buys furniture, like he, he said, he was wanting to put sold on it. But okay. yeah, you can either, uh, you can put it on that table. Okay. Because we didn't, we're not using these. Yeah. All right. And I'll, um, I'll just wait my turn on that then too. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I sure. used to have garage sales all the time, me and my mom, and trying to get him to get situated and get his <laughs> stuff out of here. Wow. And it was upstairs in the attic, upstairs in the middle, in the down, and yeah, it's been taken. We've just now got to the point where we can start selling. Right.
Yes, have sir. Mm -hmm. there, there's three pieces. Did oh. You see three? Oh, the other brush, yeah. It didn't look like it in that, so I wasn't sure. Okay. Um, five. Five, sure. Jack's out here for sale? Yes. I'm going to leave my pile and I'm going to go wait in line. Okay. Thank you. They just went in, so you're okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can take two of you at one time. Okay. Thank you. We just have a lot of small stuff, and I'm just uh, trying to keep track of everything. I kill her. <laughs> I kill her. Are you with somebody? Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Is there any old costume jewelry or anything? Uh, all the costume jewelry is out there, and I think somebody may have bought it. Oh, uh, okay. One fell swoop. Gotcha. And I don't have a price on that photo album, but that's uh, seventy-five dollars and it's full of old antique pictures of the people that I believe they built as the family that built the house. Oh, cool. Careful, look at it real quick. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I can't guarantee, but I think that was here when mom and dad bought the place back in the 60s. And from the era that the pictures are, it would be turn of the you know, 20th century. Yeah. Is there anything upstairs? There's furniture upstairs. Let's get back. She's just excited to see strangers. She loves people. Yep. So we covered it. Was that you? No, no. No, this was actually my cousin's grandmother's piano. She was a uh, school teacher. That album keeps calling you back. Then. It is. Thank you very much. Uh, a lot of nice stuff here. Thank you. Do I pay for this in here? Pardon me? Yeah. Gotcha. What do I have on there? Five. Five? Okay. There you go. Thank, Thank you, thank you very sir. Much. Appreciate it. Thank you. You have a great day. Thanks, you too. I got oh. locked. Oh, okay. I'm trying to limit the access. Okay. Uh, good luck. Uh -huh. Next. I think I'm ready to pay you. All righty. What we got here? All right. I just got this table then. Um, I paid for this inside. I think most of it has tags except for those little attachments there. I don't there. know what that is. What the heck is it? I think they're little like torch attachments. Okay. Dollar? Okay. Um, five, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh. Uh, is the mirror and the brush gone? No, what did I do with them? Did that lady... This was yours. Where yeah. Where did she pick that up from? I'll just have to tell her. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, I had it right somebody there. Somebody had already bought it. Yeah, she doesn't know that it was my pile. Yep. It's okay. Right. Um, so, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 50? Yes. What you looking for? I need a <laughs> shovel or broom or... Oh, no. Okay. Seventeen yeah. fifty. you told me. Yep. Told okay. me I need to move. <laughs> Thank there. you so much. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks. You too. Thanks. All right, guys. We are back in the garage. That was a pretty amazing day of garage sales. Actually, the whole weekend was pretty incredible. In the past, I've 
I've not done very well with like community type sales and neighborhood sales. It seems like they're super aggressively early birded. I mean, you can show up like a half hour early, like the whole neighborhood's already picked over. My normal garage sale strategy is to look for pretty large sales in less populated areas where I can kind of take my time and don't have a lot of competition. And it, it just kind of works out for me. This weekend, however, there were a few nearby community sales and neighborhood sales. So I decided just to kind of devote the weekend to garage sale hopping, not spending too much time at any one sale, and just kind of seeing what I could do. And man, did it turn out fantastic. What you just saw was day one, and day two was, believe it or not, even better. So that video is coming out in a couple days, and I'm excited to make that one because it was so great. But this stuff is amazing too, so it just kind of turned into a really great weekend. So there is quite a bit of stuff, so I can't spend too much time, but let me just really quickly show you what I picked up on day one to resell. First sale right off the bat hit a mega score with this stack of games here. They were a buck a piece, so I spent $6. Got a couple Guitar Heroes. I do have an Xbox 360 Les Paul to lock that up with. A PS2 version. I got a couple PS2 guitars to, to make one big bundle with. We got Gran Turismo 4 and Ghost Recon. Those are no big deal. Midway Arcade's greatest hits for PS1, but the great find is this Mega Man Legends for PS1. This game right here is complete in box and it can sell for between 80 and 100 bucks. So that is awesome and it was a great way to start the day. Needs a little cleaning on the bottom, but uh, I'm super excited to have found that. Sale number two, which I thought I was at a different sale, and it, honestly, I would have liked to have spent more time here, but I needed to get to the next one. See, that's the downfall with these community sales. I can't I can't just like spend 45 minutes at the same sale, but I did pick up some really amazing stuff. Uh, start with this, an old thermos, it was a dollar. I just like the colors. A 1960 Indiana license plate, super rusted out, but it was only a quarter, and I just thought it looked cool. I don't know what this box is, but it was two bucks, and I just thought it was kind of cool. Super heavy duty and wooden. Uh, maybe it held medicine or something. For another 25 cents, picked up this old JCPenney solid state AM radio. Uh, battery compartment's clean. That should do pretty well. No real comps on it because I haven't seen any available. I'm thinking that should do pretty well. For three bucks, I picked up this Garmin only because it was a lifetime maps version. It's a 50 LM with the charger and a case and a mount. Um, probably get 35 bucks for that on the low end. This was the best score from that sale. I had done well with this brand before, Seaconic. So I went ahead and picked up this light meter. Super clean battery compartment. They actually stored the battery outside of the outside of the unit, so that was smart. But it was four bucks, and this sells for between like 70 and 90 bucks just by itself. So the scores were definitely starting to add up at this point. At the next sale, just right down the road, I had uh, seen little bitty pictures of these phones in the listing. And I kind of zoomed in. I couldn't see what the model numbers were. But I was guessing that they were uh, new old stock Panasonic office phones, which is exactly what they were. I think two were marked at 20 and two were marked at 15. I ended up getting them all for 50 just because I bundled them all. And that was a terrific deal. I used to buy a lot of the Panasonic cordless phones and stuff. Not too interested in those anymore. There's a few models that are good, but for the most part, I stay away from them. But since these were new old stock business phones, I was, I was pretty excited to buy these. These are all brand new. One of these KXT7020s are missing the uh, manual. I'll just price that one a little bit cheaper and make note of it. But just kind of based on recent comps and what's available now, uh, I'm probably going to price this one here at about 129. I'll probably price this KXT7030 at probably 89.99. I'll probably do 89.99 on one of these and the one without the manual maybe 79.99. I think those are pretty realistic prices and actually that would make me I think the cheapest on all of them on eBay currently, so I don't think I'll have a problem getting close to that. Also at that sale, picked up this new old stock HP uh, large format paper roll. It was only 5 bucks and I mean these these do sell pretty decently but they're just kind of heavy and bulky. It's already packed in, in a nice little shipping box, but if it doesn't seem like it's worth my while, I might just keep this for the kids to draw on. Just a nice big, big wide roll of paper. A set of new old stock Easy Jack 2s, uh, two pack. This was $1 and this should sell for between 40 and 50 bucks on its own. So definitely look out for those, especially when they're new old stock like this. This John Wayne box set was only a dollar, so I grabbed it. Probably just stick that in the antique booth or something. A Genuine Brother. DR420 drum units. This was $10 and I should be able to get like 50 shipped or like 35 or 40 plus shipping. And then I just really liked this little, I think it's a Pelican, a uh, little wooden box. It's got some nice carved eyes on it, articulating legs, the mouth opens. And I don't, I don't know what you would have used this for, but I thought it was really cool for a dollar. At the next sale, found a lot more really cool things. Bought a couple of bags of Hot Wheels for the kids. 
in this little Game Informer magazine. But here's a nice little Bumblebee Transformer statue. Paid five for that. It's probably only worth like 15 though. A new bright Jeep Rubicon. It didn't have the controller or anything, but I figured if nothing else on these, you can kind of part them out and like sell the body and sell the wheels and stuff like that. So that was okay for five bucks. A Microsoft Xbox One controller missing the battery compartment, but for a dollar, that was a no brainer because you can still sell these uh, as long as they work for up to like 30 bucks, 25, 30 bucks. So definitely not bad there. And then we got a bunch of hats. Um, the hats were only 10 cents and I know that some of you are probably saying just buy all the hats But a lot of them were trash the the condition wasn't great and I have enough trash to go through so So I just kind of cherry-picked some of them especially some of the cool old trucker hats like this Florida one Ocean City, New Jersey There's another Florida. This one's really cool too bad. It's the Pacers, but I mean we're in Indiana So that's what you're gonna find but it's an old starter cap It's the tri-power the right hat, you know all the tags you want to see Got the nice six panel design on the top and this one's actually in really good shape so that one might actually do pretty well even though it's pacers it has the big spell out and the logo on the front another very cool one not in the best condition but it's an old disney and ngm studios hat i believe these are from the 80s i think there's one on ebay right now for like 200 and like two or three hundred bucks i think realistically this is a 30 or 40 dollar hat there's an old pendleton newsboy cap a harry levinson this one this one's not in the best condition at all it's a donegal hand woven hat that one i just thought looked interesting this one's kind of dirty but i don't know what it's made of but i went ahead and took a chance for a dime a branson trucker hat here's like a new old stock uh kc blank hat and i thought this one was cool with like the denim zipper uh definitely definitely has an 80s look to it um i was happy to buy all those for a dime a piece i think i spent maybe a dollar total for all of them if that and then at the last sale i uh, still did pretty well Found some pretty cool stuff. Just grabbed this Hard Rock Cafe Gatlinburg Bear because it was because it was new with tags. It was only 50 cents. This telephone was really neat. It was five dollars. It's a Randex Firehouse phone. Opens up and the phone's inside. These aren't worth a ton, but I should be able to get probably 35, 40 bucks plus shipping for it. Some old torch heads. This one has a maker's mark on it, so that should be pretty easy to research. A lot of cool stuff inside the house. Uh, most of it was way expensive. I like the little ashtray table. But it was like 125 and I just, I wasn't going to do it. But this is the only thing I bought from inside the house. It's like an antique candle wick trimmer or snuffer thing. Uh, it was only $5. And these can sell for between like 30 And I've seen them go for as high as 90 for these kind of brass looking ornate ones. So that's pretty cool. Nice old wooden trinket box for a dollar. I grabbed this because I think that this kind of thing is cool to make jewelry lots with. Just kind of stuff them full with, with uh, vintage jewelry. And, you know, it, it just kind of helps to sell it in my opinion. Then we have this old Chinese porcelain trinket box. It was $5. Very ornate with like raised hummingbirds and flowers and butterflies. Is what the bottom looks like i've seen similar like old dresser boxes and stuff sell for upwards of 65 70 bucks so for five bucks that was definitely a no-brainer right there and then the last thing i got from that sale is possibly the best thing and uh someone almost stole that out of my pile so i'm glad i remembered that i put them put them in that pile so she could track them down but it's this old uh hairbrush and hand mirror little vanity set these, I believe, are probably French with these little portraits on them. The glass is in very good condition with the little bevel around the edge of it. When it comes to stuff like this, I don't necessarily have the most discerning eye about whether it's true antique desirable stuff or if it's some sort of knockoff, but this stuff looks old to me. And the house was old and she was just trying to get rid of stuff, so I think there's a good chance it might be. But like, you know, with all this nice filigree and everything, I mean, these could do pretty well. I have, I have no idea what I'll ask for them. If anyone has any ideas, let me know. And it could just be complete garbage, but I paid five bucks for the set and I'm actually kind of hopeful for it, so we'll see. All right, guys, so that's everything I got from, from that first day of uh, community sales. Definitely make sure you check out the video in a couple days because some pretty amazing stuff. But as always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap.